Hi KMS, this is Heinz here. Today we're going to learn how to do some measurement using fractions. This is going to be really important when we measure anything, especially when we measure in length. Um, two tools that we're going to be using this year are your rulers and your tape measures. Both of these things probably measure either a metric or standard. When we use standard, we're going to need to use fractions a lot. So for this activity, please grab yourself a blank piece of paper and some markers. All right, so if you think about fractions, fractions are really just representations of a part of a whole. So if you have a whole piece of paper, you're going to take that piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half. I'm going to lay it flat in front of me, push down on the sides. So you took one whole slice of paper and divided it in half, which made two equal parts. Half, half. We're going to label the middle one half. Your fraction represents half of this piece of paper. One is on the numerator, two on the denominator. If we take our piece of paper and fold it again, so we're taking a half and dividing it by a half. So I took my paper that was in half and I folded it again. Now my whole entire piece of paper is broken up into quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. I'm going to write that now on my paper. So hopefully folks, your paper looks like this now. Now you're going to take that half, take that quarter, and fold it in half yet again. So we're taking a quarter, 1 over 4, dividing it into two equal parts. And now with our fractions, we have our piece of paper that got folded into eighths. So now we're going to go through, label the first crease 1 eighth. The next crease is 2 eighths. You'll see that reduced to 1 fourth. 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, and 8 eighths. Please label those on your paper. So now, our final fraction that you're going to have to be um, tolerant of in tech at KMS, we did halves, we did quarters, we did eighths. If we take an eighth and divide that by two, you'll get your paper divided up into sixteenths. Now we're going to take this piece of paper and unfold it, and every line would represent one sixteenth. Please label that on your paper. exercise is meant to show you what fractions look like between 0 and 1. 
Please don't think, though, that this is how big one inch is. If you reference your ruler, a standard ruler measures from 0 to 12 inches on one side. On the metric side of your ruler, it might measure from 0 to 30. Some things to measure about, remember about your ruler, your ruler might not start at 0, the edge of your ruler. So when you're measuring things, make sure that you start measuring from where 0 is. You might have to move the ruler around on the paper or on the object that you're measuring. If you look at a ruler between 0 and 1, how many lines are there? Those are called increments. That's what we just figured out here. This shows you each of those increments. This ruler has 16 lines in between 0 and 1. This ruler can measure to the nearest 16th of an inch. After you get something that's longer than 1 inch, you'll just add that whole number. So say if I was to measure the Sharpie, I would line it up with the 0, and it's 5 and something on my ruler. So I would just say it's going to be 5, and I have to figure that measurement out. It's 4 lines past. 5 and 4 sixteenths, but I want to reduce that to 5 and a quarter. That's how long a Sharpie is. You'll measure lots of things around your house. You'll be measuring things electronically on the computer using CAD. But all of that is going to require the knowledge of fractions. Please see if you can duplicate this page at home by following this um, model. And if you're able to do it, please take a photo of it and upload it to your Google site for your portfolio. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.